The harbor porpoise is one of many cetaceans we have in the Salish Sea, but one that is often overlooked. They were all but gone by the 1990s, but have happily recovered and are once again one of the most abundant species in the region. We don't know exactly why the decline in recovery occurred, but we also know little about their long-term population dynamics. This is crucial to understand for future conservation efforts, and we here at PacMam want to know what are their group dynamics, behaviors, ranging patterns, and social structure. These are all questions we hope to answer, knowing that the basis for improving our understanding of a species is founded in the identification of individual animals and tracking them over time. Burroughs Pass off Fadago Island provides the ideal location for this type of study, a land-based point in a semi-protected area with year-round presence of harbor porpoises. It is a tidal stream habitat where large tidal flows pass through a narrow strait that often provides predictable and favorable foraging conditions. This habitat is likely very important to this small species, which is limited in the amount of energy they can store, making predictable food sources critical for their survival. Photographs and environmental information were collected from an observation point about six meters above the water during one to three hour observation periods. Photographs were compared using a matrix of eight different identification marks, and presence and group size were analyzed in relation to variables including season, riptide strength, which we call rip, and behavioral state. Through photo ID, we have begun to know the individuals that use this area, gaining insight into their daily lives. Calving appears to occur during late summer, with calf sightings peaking in fall. We were excited to discover that many animals continually return to this area. Limited information suggests that harbor porpoises have relatively small home ranges. Thus, our work indicates that they may have a more fine-scale population structure than previously understood, and that it is influenced by season, behavior, rip, and calf presence. However, unfortunately for tourists and researchers in Washington State, who enjoy sunshine and dry weather while observing porpoises, there are fewer animals present and they are in smaller groups during the summer months. We found that they usually travel in small groups of less than three porpoises, and that group size increased with calf presence. Groups were also significantly larger when foraging compared to other behaviors. In this habitat, there may be an advantage to having greater numbers when feeding, even if they are not actively working together. Harbor porpoises, like us, will go where the food is. So these seasonal shifts may indicate changes in prey availability during the summer. But following prey into tidal stream habitats can be tricky, as the water can be turbulent during times of high rip. We found that porpoises were more likely to be seen in low or medium rip, supporting the idea that they prefer low energy areas but may gather in high energy areas when foraging benefits outweigh the energetic costs. These costs are higher for immature porpoises, so mothers and calves will avoid strong tidal flows. Indeed, we found that calves were more likely to be seen during slack high tide when water movement is greatly reduced. Our study has shown that season, behavior, rip, and calf presence influence group characteristics of harbor porpoises in Burroughs Pass and supports the idea that there is a complex relationship between habitat use and population structure that varies on small spatio-temporal scales. We show that photo ID is possible on this species. There is likely a local population of harbor porpoises that utilize Burroughs Pass, and this may be a biologically important area for them. Even for populations that are stable or increasing, understanding fine-scale population structure and collecting baseline data is crucial as all species are still subject to changing climates and anthropogenic interactions. More detailed research such as this study will contribute critical information on harbor porpoises and will be vital to fully understanding and ensuring the protection of this species and their habitats.